super excited for all of you to get to hear both about the prize, because this is a prize that takes open um, submissions, applications, nominations, whatever you want to call it, every year. So also start thinking about who you might nominate for next year. Just a little plug, if that's okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Most Americans don't know it yet, but a new world is coming. A 3D world. A world of virtual reality. Some people are rushing into this new world to make a ton of money. The virtual reality pioneer we are honoring today isn't coding to make herself a fortune. She has been coding and organizing to make social change, to open up a brave new 3D world to the nonprofits here in the United States and all across our globe. For her efforts, I'm pleased to announce today this incredibly imaginative software developer has become the 10th annual winner of the Antonio Pizzagatti Prize for Software in the Public Interest. Our Times Foundation Pizzagatti Prize honors software developers who are working to fashion open source applications that support nonprofits active in struggles for social change. Last year's winner helped develop a grassroots space alternative to the global financial industry. An earlier winner wrote software that's protecting investigators looking into human rights violations. Still another previous winner designed software that's helping citizen groups challenge rigged election districts. Our 2016 Antonio Pizzagatti Prize winner has been the moving force behind Open Simulator, the open source software that's ushering nonprofits into the 3D world. Our new winner has personally designed much as Open Simulator's core architecture, but her contribution has gone beyond code. She has been a coach and a mentor. More than anyone else, she has nurtured the vibrant open source community that has evolved around Open Simulator. Our Tide Software and the Public Interest Prize Program honors the brief life of Tony Pizzagatti, an MIT, MIT trained open source activist who died in a car accident 21 years ago on his way to work here in Silicon Valley. Today, on behalf of my colleagues at Tides and our outstanding Pizzagatti Prize judges, I am proud to award the $10,000 Pizzagatti Prize for 2016 to Christina Lodge. Thank you. Thank you both. 